the theme is going to be mystery. You are Asmer, a detective living in Chicago. Who, who are you? Stutters the man. I'm Asmer, penguin detective. Asmer ate the man whole. But why are you out in the sun alone? Ah, but I was not alone. I ate the only man here. Boom Liam advances on you, raising his staff. Eat Boom Liam. Your girlfriend breaks up with you. She claims that watching someone die every day is a little too creepy. You don't blame her. Hey, I'm here to kill you. <laughs> you scream in anger and tackle the centaur, stabbing him repeatedly. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> CSI Miami music thing happens. It'll figure it out. I think if I was able to speak to God directly, this is what I would say. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly it. Okay, mama. I have my degree in birds and bees. Can I leave now? The barber does not want money, but instead wants you to join his barber shop quartet. There is no moral of this story. It is just a story about a guy who works at a flower shop. This is depressing. It's not a very good story, is it? You are sentenced to death by the judge. You are executed. <laughs> what? All right, you know what? Let's start again. Let's try one more. Let's just go prompts. We'll go with Halloween. How about that? Lock yourself in the cell. The cell is empty except for a small, dirty mat on the floor. Wash the mat. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> the fifth time this week, you snuck in here naked and covered in WD-40. <laughs> You're under arrest, the sheriff says. What for? For being under arrest. <laughs> He's got me there. <laughs> The chef smiles and kisses you. His lips are dry and cracked. It's almost like kissing a skeleton. You moan. <laughs> he grabs you by the hair and pushes you against the wall. He gives you a lovely haircut and sends you on your way. I'm not letting this go any further. <laughs> he grabs the bottom of his shirt and begins lifting it up slowly. How do we get out of this? Eat him? That's a dangerous phrase to put in here right now. Just feckin' leave! <laughs> this is meant to be a horror story, and it feckin' is, but for the wrong reason. <laughs> do you want to go back to the house? God damn it! The house is on fire. They are not going back in there. <laughs> it just keeps you turning back to that horror. <laughs> you see an opening in the fence, and you run towards it. I just want to get out of this situation and I feel like me gently nudging like, hey, let's put our clothes back on. Hey, let's go, you know, to Betty's Burgers. Let's get some food. Oh, a house is on fire. It's not working. <laughs> so I need to be more extreme. You're hit by shrapnel and killed instantly. Wouldn't let the AI write smut, so it just killed you. <laughs> That's what it really seems. The moral of the story is wear a shirt for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I feckin' tried, like! <laughs> AI is upset with you. Wake up! Wake up, goddammit! Wake up! <laughs> the sheriff rushes into the room. Naked. <laughs> after all that. After all that. <laughs> In response, he stabs you in the throat, killing you in a single pl blow. I like how it all this is like killing you in a single blow, but you can just kind of reverse it. He stabs you again. This time in the eyes, you fall to the ground dead. They really want me to die. <laughs> you leap to your feet and rip out his throat. Pathetic. I died twice. Uh, he, I mean, he still has a better KD than I do. <laughs> I'm 0.5 right now. You feel the blade slide into your chest. Eat, Wilco is your one zero three. Puke out, Wilco zero one zero three hole. The sheriff stands before you. The intro to Skyrim plays. 
His cold, dead lips touch yours as you feel a, wa a wave of terror hit you. Did I leave the oven on? Sheriff? While the sheriff's head is turned, he spit in his eye. I'm like, <laughs> or, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> his head was turned and then he, you spit. Did it ricochet or? Now you got me. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, it's just, I'm just gonna edit that, hold on. Um. <laughs> you what? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, what, do, what, what do I do? So I'm just gonna release that. Wait, do you want to have baked beans? Princess, thank you very much for the bits and just saying stop, please. Appreciate that. I assume it was sarcasm. I, uh, I like... I like... I like a mashed. Why? Why don't you use your feet to mash the beans? Like they do with wine. This could be good. <laughs> Kevin, no. What do you mean, Kevin, no? Kevin, yes! <laughs> I get the, honestly, the, I'm getting like Resident Evil 7 vibes. Like they're sitting around and you're like the main character trying to escape from them. You're peering through like a peak hole and this whole thing is going on. The Scrooge McDuck's money room but like with beans a ghostly presence appears in the form of the sheriff you been haunting me <laughs> <laughs> he'll appreciate the pun and let me go i assume the ghost eats your brains huh i wasn't using them anyway i'm not crazy then <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are. Or why he asks. I'm a camel. I I'm a camel. I'm a cannibal. He would miss. The guy is literally a ghost because we ate him and the plot twist is still. I'm a cannibal. <laughs> Servi, thank you for the tip. That's it. No more internet for me today. That's such a shame that your internet ran out because we're just finishing off this wonderful story. Uh, look, it'll be on the VOD channel. You can check it out there, okay? Uh, you drag the shrieking ghost into the kitchen. You unbutton your pants. What the fu- Oh my god, what the shit? I wasn't even- Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you both die the end. 